When the state asked us to shut our doors because of the coronavirus, our first thought was, what about the kids? What would they do for books? How would they continue to read? Especially those kids who rely on the library for books. It was then that Mikey, the kid that runs the weekly comic book group for teens, said, why not get some wrestlers? Welcome to Storytime with Amazing Maria. Today's nursery rhyme is Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill as manager and client. Things got real when Jill turned heel and left Jack for the giant. <laughs> when Mikey told us of a local group of professional wrestlers that was also out of work, I thought, great, kids love wrestlers. We could have them come in, record a video for Facebook. We could even get people like John Cena or Roman Reigns. Cinderella's stepsister was having the time of her life, dancing with the prince. Then all of a sudden, a woman with gray hair and a magical wand entered the room. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, she said, I am the fairy godmother and I am the advocate for the one true princess, Cinderella. It wasn't until after we brought them in to record that I realized we weren't dealing with the John Cena's of the world. She ran down the ramp. German suplexed her stepsister. Then another. Then another. Three amigos. Then she gave her stepmother a DDT. Then she climbed to the top of the banquet table and flew off with an atomic elbow. Uh -huh. Well, right on to her stepsister. Lights out. Well, at least they were colorful. When Red Riding Hood saw the wolf dressed in a grandma mask, she sent her a video message saying, Grandma, what big eyes, nose, and teeth you have. The wolf grabbed Red Riding Hood and gave her an Irish whip into the china cabinet. But Red reversed it and sent him flying right into the glass. Then Red made the hot tag to her grandma, who suplexed the big bad wolf right out of his fur and finished him off with a pile driver. Big, bad, whatever, said grandma. I learned to grapple from Billy Wolf. Look. Desperate times call for desperate measures. If the kids aren't reading, they'll just be playing video games all day or organizing Ponzi schemes. They don't need the John Cena's. At the end of the day, in the story, all they really want to know is that the bad guy got what was coming to him. The bears left their empty bowls of porridge in the kitchen and walked to the living room. Papa Bear said, Someone's been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear said, Someone's been sitting in my chair. Baby Bear said, Hey yo, where's my chair? That's when Goldilocks hit him flat across the back with a folded steel chair. <laughs> she gave Mama a shot to the back and Papa a shot to the head. Then... The bears ate Goldilocks, because even though she had the steel chair, she was no match for 1,500 pounds of grizzly. Please everyone, stay inside. This can't end soon enough. You know, if Goldilocks had just returned my calls, none of this would have happened. I mean, yours truly, David Barnabas Specter. I, I would have taken her all the way to the top. But you know, que sera, sera, that's old news. Now, the three bears, they would be a perfect fit for darkness worldwide. Bears, have your people call my people. <laughs>